describe these speakers. That is. What's up bros, welcome back to another Tech Tuesday episode, a very exciting one today because today we are covering a product that many of you guys have been asking about. Today my friends, we are taking a look at Harbinger's Very 4000 series. And more specifically today, we are taking a look at the Very 4115, the 15 inch model of the 4000 series. It of course features a 15 inch woofer powered by a Class D amplifier that delivers a whopping 2500 watts of power, max SP of 130 dBs, dedicated five channel mixer with an onboard color DSP. The Very 4115 currently retails for $350 and it is the most powerful speaker in its line. Now this is actually a brand new speaker. The line actually debuted at the tail end of 2019. I believe it came out around November. And when I mentioned to you guys that I had a set of these for review, you guys went nuts. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did receive very mixed reactions when I mentioned to you guys that I had a Harbinger speaker for review. A lot of you guys did express some concern about Harbinger. However, I also noticed that Harbinger has a little bit of a cult following. A lot of you guys seem to fanboy and gush over this speaker when I mentioned that I had it in my possession. And rightfully so, because I did a ton of research about this speaker online, and quite frankly, there was very little information. It is a brand spanking new speaker. And the best way I could describe this speaker to you is more or less a great value brand. If you go into any guitar center, chances are that you're going to see a ton of Harbinger speakers laid out throughout the store because it is one of those go-to products that Guitar Center sells. Because of its price point, it's an easy sell for anybody starting out. Today I'm going to be going over all the features. I'm going to be telling you guys what I like, what I don't like, and what I think they could improve on. Let's start with the actual aesthetics of the speaker. On the front we have a a nice metal grill with an oval design. The front of the speaker is actually curved. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that on video, but if I run my hands across it, you guys can see that is a bit of a wavy kind of form to it. It's not a flat front. It's not a square front like most traditional speaker boxes. This has a nice wavy design. On the bottom, you have your Harbinger logo and you have an LED indicator that lights white when it's in use and it turns red when you're clipping. I do wish, however, that they did have a similar LED indicator on the back just because in most cases when we are performing we're generally behind the speaker not in front of the speaker so I would like to see at a glance if I am clipping or not on the back you do have a five channel mixer you have two channels with a combo XLR quarter inch jack these are inputs designed for your microphone a guitar if you're a guitarist or if you're a DJ you can go straight out of your DJ controller right into these two jacks right here there's a switch right underneath the volume knob of each channel to toggle between mic guitar and line channel three has three additional inputs. It's got a mono left and right quarter inch input. It's got an aux input. However, you don't really need to use that aux input because it does have built-in Bluetooth. On top of your master volume control, you also have a dedicated knob for your bass and your treble adjustments. Lastly, you have your out, a direct as well as a link. Now, one of my favorite features that they've included in this speaker is actually that built-in color DSP. It's super easy to use and most modern speakers do have a built-in DSP. However, this one is different. Most of the ones that you traditionally see aren't color and they're not as intuitive as this one. So, so to access the settings on the built-in DSP, all you have to do is press this master volume, push it in to adjust. You have a couple different things that you can adjust. I don't want to go over them because there is quite a lot of things that you can do. However, there are some key things that I do want to address. Let's start with voicing. Voicing is probably the most important because this is where you can really tailor the speaker to your liking. We all know that sound is very subjective. So depending on how you want your boxes to sound, this is what you'll need to adjust. And what I love about this DSP is the fact that you can actually see your frequencies changing with this graph here. Now there's all different types of options for different applications. And if you really want to get crazy, you can make user presets using their app, which I'll address in a little bit. I'm personally a fan of very punchy speakers. So most of the time when I do have this option, I generally switch it to 
Now, this speaker does lack in the bass department, I will say. The bass is not what I would like it. I love having punchy bass, so I have had to crank this up a little bit. I usually crank it to about the three o'clock position, right around there. This is where I like my bass, and as you guys can see, the graph is totally all the way up there. You don't have to go that high. I actually don't recommend that you push the boxes that high. However, for my liking, I did have to crank the lower frequencies a little bit. Now, with the higher frequencies, um, I typically just like to leave them at 12 o'clock. As you guys can see here, I can adjust them all the way up or all the way down. After a bit of trial and error, I found that zero is just the best for my personal liking. And to save that, all I have to do is just press the enter button button that'll toggle me back to the main menu right underneath voicing we have location this is where you can adjust how you set your speaker there are three different options to choose from you have your pole mount which is what I have it on it's essentially that means tripod you can use it as a floor monitor if you're a live musician or if you just want to use it to monitor your DJ set and lastly if you want to fly these you can wall mount these there are fly joints on top also I would like to mention if you do want to use it as a floor monitor it does have wedges on the side additionally the speaker does have rubber feet on the bottom so you can just play this on a flat surface now there's a ton of other things that you can do but my personal favorite that i saw on this speaker was that app control connectivity carpenter actually did a great job with their app now once you enable app control from the speaker it's a pretty seamless process whip out your smartphone you open up the harbinger app it'll ask you to connect so all you have to do is give it a second it should say connecting and it takes about 15 seconds to connect but once you're connected you have full control of the speaker from your phone. It is a trouble-free process. I've used speakers before that have similar systems like this where you can connect them to apps, but to connect it to apps is usually a nightmare. Some of them ask you to literally plug in a modem to it, and that's not cool. This is so simple to use. So you can really get crazy with this if you're a big sound nerd and you really like dialing in your personal settings to get speakers to sound the way you would like them to. You can spend hours adjusting the the settings. Now, if I were to use one word to describe these speakers, that is loud. I remember when I bought my first pair of DJ speakers, there was only one thing that I was worried about, and that was how loud these speakers were. I remember searching on forums, how many watts do I need for an 80, 100 person party? And that's something that I feel every beginner DJ and every beginner musician does. They worry about how loud the speaker is going to be. And let me just say this, Harbinger did not lie. This speaker is freaking loud. It is super loud. I was able to reach that 130 dB that they promised. No problem. However, I will say that once you start reaching those high dB levels, the speaker does suffer from fatigue. It does start distorting a little bit. Once you start going past the 115, 120, it's still okay. However, once you go past 120, it does hurt and the speaker does sound harsh. This speaker has XR technology, which offers low distortion. And even at 115 dB, this speaker still sounds great. But like I said, once you start going past that, the speaker does start to fatigue. Vocal clarities on the highs are great. I can really tell that they had musicians in mind when they were designing this thing, not just DJs. So the vocals sound crispy clear coming out of this box. The low end, however, this is where I feel like they are lacking in. As I mentioned earlier, when I showed you the voicing feature on the back, I showed you the club, which essentially bumps the low ends, bumps the sub. So so that you get a harder kick, a more punchier kick. Now sound is super subjective, but I personally love my bass. I love hearing that boom, 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 boom. And that is something that is a bit missing on this speaker. I will say though, you can adjust the settings, but I just don't feel comfortable bumping the bass up so high to compensate for its low bass power. But for a speaker at this price point, you cannot go wrong. Because you have so many adjustments that you can make, you can actually tune this thing to your personal liking. They really did include features that are found in more pro level speakers. And they did a great job, like I said. And quite frankly, for the price and sound, quality that you're getting it's actually a pretty good buy so i do hope that you found this video informative if you have any additional questions regarding the harbinger 4115 speaker please don't hesitate to ask leave your questions comments and concerns down in the comments below i'll be sure to respond to you guys additionally if you like to support the channel so that i can keep making more videos like this one please drop a like if you like this video subscribe if you're new around here and if you really want to help me out don't forget to turn on that bell so you can be notified next time
time we do another speaker review. Big shout out to Harbinger for sending over the speaker for review, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Stay awesome, bros. Peace.